the total income from a continuous revenue stream over some time period from t equals a to t equals b can be calculated as the integral from a to b of f of t dt, where f of t represents the represents that continuous revenue stream. So in example five, we'll take a look at calculating this total income and then talk about how this concept relates to future value and what future value is. So in example five, we want to find the total income produced by a continuous income stream in the first three years if the rate of flow of the, is given by the function 700e to the 0.05t. So this means we would want to integrate from 0 to 3 so from that initial time to our final time, the function 700 e to the 0 0.05 t dt. So we want to integrate this function And again, what we get is the total income produced by that revenue stream over three years. So in this case, $2,266 if we round that to the nearest dollar. So total income produced in the first three years is $2,266. So given a continuous income stream, we can calculate the revenue that we'll see from that or the income that we'll receive from that. We can also think about taking that income from a continuous income stream and investing it. So if that incoming income is invested in an account that's continuously compounded, we can calculate the future value of our investment. So meaning calculating the money that we're bringing in from that income stream, as well as the interest that we're earning on those investments. So this concept of future value for some continuous income stream from some time t equals zero to some final time, lowercase t equals capital T, is calculated as e to the R times capital T times the integral of zero, integral from zero to capital T of F of T, that function for our continuous income stream, times E to the negative RT DT. So something important to keep in mind here is that wherever we have this capital T, that's not the same thing as lowercase t. Capital T is some number that would be given to us in the problem. It's an amount of time. So if the investment is for two years, everywhere we have that capital T, we'd be plugging in a value of two. So in example six, we have a business planning to purchase a piece of equipment that will produce a continuous income stream for nine years. So that means this is our value for capital T with a rate of flow F of T equals $11,000. And we're given the interest rate for our investment. So we can find the future value of this investment, of this continuous income stream with its investment, by evaluating E to the 0.069 times 9. So this is E to the R times capital T times the integral from 0 to 9 of our function f of t, that continuous income stream, which is in this case 11,000, times e to the r, negative r, so negative 0 0.069 times lowercase t dt. So we're integrating e to the 0.069 times 9 times 11,000 
times e to the negative 0 0.069 t for t equals 0 to 9. So again, verify that our input looks like what we would expect that to look at, just to make sure that we typed everything in correctly, especially when we get into some of these more complex expressions. And we get a result of $137,227. So the future value of this investment after nine years will be $137,000 or $137,227. So that's the future value of our investment for purchasing this piece of equipment and investing that continuous income stream. Now we want to compare that to the idea of present value. So present value is the idea of how much money would we have to have on hand now deposited into an account that was being continuously compounded to match the same final amount after nine years. So essentially we want $137,227. That's our final amount. We want to invest this in a continuously compounded account. So we want to invest some principal P. And since we're talking about an account that's continuously compounded, we can use PE to the RT. So we can assume that same interest rate. And we know that we'll be investing it for nine years. So we want to know what principal amount would we have to invest now to achieve this same amount after nine years. So we can type in that equation, ask Wolfram Alpha to solve for us for P. And we get, if we round this to the nearest whole number, $73,747. So in order to match the $137,227 that we'll generate by investing that continuous income stream, by purchasing that piece of equipment, um, over nine years, we would need a present value, so we would need a single deposit today that we could invest for nine years of $73,747. So in the question, we're not given the initial piece of information on how much this piece of equipment is going to cost, but presumably we could take this number knowing we need 70, over $73,000, almost $74,000 deposited today to yield this amount after nine years. So we could compare that amount to how much we have to pay for this piece of equipment, which investing that continuous income stream would yield this amount after that nine year period. So it would help us to make the decision what's the, if the investment is a good idea or not.